AMD released the 7900 XTX at the end of 2022 and the company is famous for its driver fine wine, meaning with age the drivers are improving and squeezing more performance out of the product. Let's see how much performance AMD managed to squeeze by using a driver from last year, the 23.4.3 version and compare it to the 24.3.1 version. So, stay tuned if you want to find out. To better understand the performance gap, I used the same clock and power settings for both drivers, thus minimizing any game clock speed AMD introduced over the period. If you are interested in the system configuration, make sure to check the video description and while you're there, hit the subscribe button, it will mean a lot for the channel. Now, let's not waste any more time and see the head-to-head -head comparison and after, I will put all the FPS in a chart and analyze it together. So let's begin. Change your hairstyle. Thank you, but I like it like this. Right, good for you. A woman's hair is her righteous crown. Beautifully said. The hair is nice like that. Well, thank you, sir.
I'm gonna go check something out. Be right back. Got it. Tweet, tweet, my sweets. Now why'd you go and do... I'm gonna go check something out. Be right back. Got it. Tweet, tweet, my sweets. Now why'd you go and... In this chart, the first three games are old and both driver versions should have driver-based game optimization, but the newer driver has a minor performance advantage. Technically, the fourth game in this chart is old, but I'm using the latest version of Cyberpunk 2077 and the other driver for sure doesn't have optimization tweaks for version 2 or newer. As you can be seen, the older driver is on par with the newer one in only three games, Arno 1800, The Tale of Principle 2 and Banisher's Ghost of Eden, of which the last two games are relatively new. Feel free to pause the video if you need to better analyze the chart. In this chart we can clearly see the average performance gains in percentage of the newer driver over the older one. As previously mentioned, only three games don't see any performance gains. I consider a margin of error any game that has 2% or less performance delta. Again, feel free to pause the video to better analyze the chart. Averaging all the results from the previous chart, we can see that the newer driver outperforms the older one by roughly 10%. As expected, it's better to move to newer drivers than staying too much on the same version. To be honest, I did get some warnings with the older driver, but I didn't have any issues in the limited time I spent using it. For instance, Helldiver 2 didn't crash at least in the 40 plus minutes playthrough. My recommendation is not to stay too much on older drivers, as you may lose on any performance gains, especially in newer titles. When a newer driver is released, I always use DDU and remove the older driver and after I install the newer driver. Because I use third party apps for screen recordings, GPU tuning and performance metrics, I'm always going with minimal installation. If you found the video helpful, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Take care and hope to see you all in the next one.